This is a video for OCR Pure Core Mathematics, Complex Numbers 4, De Moivre's Theorem, 4.2, Powers of Complex Numbers. We've seen in a previous video that De Moivre's Theorem tells us that cos theta plus i sine theta all to the power n is cos n theta plus i sine n theta. The power comes in and multiplies the angle. If, however, we've got a complex number that does not have a modulus of 1, we can still apply De Moivre's theorem. This complex number here has got a modulus of r. Its result has a modulus of r to the n and still has the multiple angles as its argument. So that has a modulus of r to the n and an argument of n theta. Let's look at this example. We've got here a modulus of 1 and an argument of pi by 5. If I do this to the power 15, I'm still going to get a modulus of 1, but my argument is going to be multiplied by 15. So I get 15 times pi by 5, and I get i sine, and again I get 15 times pi by 5. So that becomes cos of 3 pi plus i sine of 3 pi. Well, cos of 3 pi is just minus 1. Sine of 3 pi we know is 0, so the result is minus 1. There's that written up neatly for you. Let's look at a second example. Here we've got a modulus of 2 and an argument of pi by 6. So this to the power 4 is going to give me 2 to the power 4 times cos, an argument of 4 times pi by 6, plus i sine, again 4 pi by 6. Cos of 4 pi by 6, well I can rewrite that as 2 pi by 3, so this thing will become 2 to the 4 is 16 times cos of 2 pi by 3 plus i sine 2 pi by 3. Cos of 2 pi by 3 is minus a half. Sine of 2 pi by 3 is root 3 over 2. So I get minus 8 plus 8i root 3. And again, there's that working tidied up for you. The next video in this sequence is 4.3, powers of complex numbers in x plus iy form.